Mackey Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles. With a knowledgeable sales staff and amazing service departments, you'll drive away satisfied. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City, MackeyMotors.com. Jeff Blankman talking here today with the Audubon Girls 4x400 Relay as they just wrapped up their prelims here a little bit ago. A good strong run for them. Cut some time off of their season best, so a nice run down here at the state tournament. It's an extremely warm afternoon here. We're going to start with Taryn Peterson who started things off. How'd you feel? You ran earlier this morning. What was kind of the difference between then and now? Um, well, earlier this morning it wasn't as hot as it was, so I feel like coming out of the blocks just was kind of slow because how to get like used to the heat and everything, but otherwise I just try to keep it as the same pace as I would as a normal car. Did you do a nice job staying hydrated and everything in between runs? Yeah, I tried to drink as much water as I could if I could get the chance, but yeah, I personally think I did, yes. So take me through the start, and then where did you feel like you were you were at your best? Did you want to go out early, or did you want to save some for the end? I wanted to save some for the end, because like I said, uh, the home stretch is where I try and kick it in the most, just so I can get our team a bigger lead. Um, but just trying to coast my way around and get right to that home stretch as fast as I could and then get it, keep us going. So the experience of being down here, has it changed over the last two days or did it, does it still feel the same? Um, well, just living the experience and then I think it's changed a little bit, seeing that there's a lot more people here than there were yesterday. But just the atmosphere all together is just being really... It's really amazing. Well, I tell you what, great job. Looking forward to seeing you a lot more and covering you in other sports as well. So appreciate you joining us here today. Thank you. You bet. Let's move over now to Maddie Nielsen. And Maddie, an outstanding second leg again. Um, I always enjoy watching you because we talked earlier this morning. When you make that cut down, you you, you kind of go hard uh, yeah. and stuff. So take me through the difference between the four this morning and this four this afternoon. Yeah, like Taryn said, it was a lot cooler this morning. So I was making sure to just conserve my energy and pushed as strong as I could on the back stretch to kind of um, the first team was ahead by a little bit there so I just wanted to make sure to kind of close the gap a little and keep the girls off behind me. Was there much of a different pace with this race than there was this morning? Yeah I felt like this race might have been a little bit more up pace um, and more competitive. I think we were looking at times earlier and everyone from the last place to the like fifth place is within five seconds of each other. So you don't see that very often, so it's a little bit more pressure, I guess. As a senior, what's it mean to you to take time off your season best down here at the state meet? Yeah, I'm glad we could make this our best going out. Um, it's just fun to see how much we've improved over the year. I tell you what, great job as always. We appreciate you joining thank us. You. Go get cooled down. Yes, thank you. You bet. Let's move over now to Jalen Peterson who ran that third leg today. How did it feel for you out here? Different than that race earlier this morning with the heat, I'm sure, but different distance for you as well. Uh, like Maddie said, it's definitely way hotter. Sun's come out uh, this morning. Uh, D-men, definitely a little bit of an easier race, but still have to make it harder for us. Um, 4x4, I think it's all about maintaining speed um, while still going fast, whereas D-men, completely different mindset. What's the change in mentality for you and strategy going from running the two this morning to this? Um, so like I said, 200 is definitely all those a sprint race, whereas this one I have to sprint around the first corner and then maintain that speed, then sprint again, try and catch up with the people. How'd you feel coming down the straightaway and with the handoff? Um, I could tell that people were starting to gain on me. I just had to keep that speed, hoping for the best that our anchor would do us good. What will you take away from the experience this year to think you help you when you come down in the future? Uh, so since we've combined with our schools, I think it's... Um, good confidence for all of us to come together. We definitely feed off of each other. Uh, coming here with all the other support from coaches, parents, and everything. It's just all a great experience for us. I tell you what, great job as always. Appreciate it. Looking forward to following you in other sports as well. Thank you. you bet. Let's move over now to Cadence Brandon for You're the anchor. You were the anchor this yep. morning. You were the anchor today. What was the mentality for you going into this one? Kind of just get out hard, stick the pack in front of me, and just go run my race. What was the pace like when you took off here today? It was really fast around the first corner, and then we got to like the second one, and kind of just like coasted through the rest. Are you able to kind of hold the strategy you want when everything starts maybe quicker than what you're used to? Uh, yeah, I kind of just go with the pace that everyone else is going at, and then hopefully my kick's good enough at the end. How was that kick today? It wasn't as good as I'd like, but it was still okay. Did that 800 earlier this morning take a lot out of you, or do you feel like you recovered okay? I feel like I recovered okay. It was good. 
Okay, so what's been the most favorite part of being down here so far for you this year? Definitely just spending time with my teammates, getting to know them a little bit better. You guys figured out where you're eating yet today? No, we do not. No? No, no favorite places? Nope. All right. Well, I tell you what, I appreciate you joining us. Good to see you again and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.